Hey guys, this is Dennis in Scripting Tutorials, and I'm going to cover how to make a kill listener in this video. Um, it probably is my most requested um, video, and so in attempts to appease the most amount of people, I'm going to make this one with my spare time today. Um, it's just going to be a basic one, and I will show you how to complicate it slightly further in the next video that I'll hopefully be able to do right after this one. The goal of this video is to have you create a quest that requires the player to go kill zombies, um, but with the same structure, you can have them kill any mob, any player, or you know whatever. So you just have to modify the context of the basically the NPC story. Um, so I, this basic script you should understand. It's very similar to things we've done in the past videos. Nothing new. Um, excuse me. Just a click trigger and a chat trigger in the first step here. Sorry. Um, basically, when they click the NPC to begin with, he just says, you know, thank goodness you're here. I have a problem with zombies killing my cows at night. I um, think you can help. Uh, and then the player, you know, responds with yes or no. And... Um, obviously the important one is the yes. So when the player accepts the quest of killing the zombies, or the farmer, you have him say, I need you to kill five zombies, or whatever you decide. Um, and then the next two parts you need to do, which are the important parts, is you need to zap to step two, um, so that it continues on in the, the uh, script once this queue is over, and you need to use the listen command. And the listen command is something that a lot of people find confusing, because um, it's not a traditional command in a lot of senses. Um, when you use the listen command, it actually creates what's called a listener object, which is like a object in the computer's memory that listens to everything the player does, and then it decides whether or not it's relevant to what you, what criteria you gave it. And then if it is, it counts what the player is doing and then can report back. Um, so in this case, we want to make a kill listener. So that's your first argument. And um, you, the, each type of listener has sub types per se. There's individual types within the general listener categories. So a kill listener can be um, an entity kill listener, or it can be a player kill listener, and it can be, I think there's a group kill listener that relates to permission groups maybe, but I don't, I don't know off the top of my head. Um, so you need to tell it that we're doing an entity type kill listener, so it knows it needs to listen for when the player kills an entity. Um, they need to tell it the names of the entities to look for, and in this case it's going to be zombies. Um, if the listener needs to know how many, so you can give it a quantity, and we're doing five. And then the important part is um, the listener needs to know what commands to run when the player successfully fulfills the arguments. So once the player kills five zombies, it needs to do some commands, um, so we need to find a task script that it's going to run. In this case, we're going to do a zombie quest task. Um, we'll get into that once we finish the interact script, or actually I'll do that right now because that's important. Um, so down here, um, we're going to actually make a new script, and this one's going to be type task. Um, so a task script is the simplest form of a script, and all it is is a set of commands that you give a name to, and you can call that name at any point, and it'll execute those commands. Pretty simple. Um, in this case, we're having the listener call it. Um, another instance, you can call it using the run command, where it'll run that task. You 
could feed them arguments, but that's all another video. But for right now, all you need to know is it's a list of commands. And that when oops, this listener right here finishes, it's going to run this test script, which is down here. Um, so the test script, which will come into play. Yeah, okay, so the task script is going to narrate to the player, you've killed five zombies. Um, return to uh, whatever we named the NPC. We'll just call him Bob. Um, so the player knows they've killed the five zombies. And then the important part is it's going to zap to step three of the script we called kill quest um, so that's how the original interact script is going to know when the player's done and i'll show you how that comes into play here um, so right now we need to make the second step just going to click trigger and this is the step that the um, script goes into when the player um, is in the process of killing the zombies. So all the NPC needs to do is say, hurry up. Yeah, hurry up, my cows keep dying. That's all it needs to have there. It's just, um, just a basic, you know, response. Um, the important part is going to be the third step, which is essentially your reward step. Um, so we need another click trigger, and this is for when the player comes back after killing the five zombies, and it is, and that has caused the script to go to step number three. And step number three, you chat something along the lines of, oh, "Thank goodness." My cows are safe, and you always wait a little bit between chats just to make it look a little more fluid. Um, here's our reward. So this, you know, you can give the player some reward um, for finishing the quest for you. Um, in this case, we'll just give them. We'll just give them a hundred coins or whatever currency is on your server. You can use the give command. Um, so give money quantity 100 and we know we'll give them a iron sword also. So, you know, they feel like they got a decent reward. Um, and from this point, you're going to want to zap to step four so that they can't keep turning the quest in over and over again. And quest, or step four, I think that's lined up right. I think so. Okay, and step four is going to have another click trigger. And the script for that one is going to be, thanks again for killing those zombies. All right, so that's your basic structure. Um, I'm going to go over it one more time, just to make sure everyone's clear. Um, the first time the player interacts with the NPC, he goes through this first step, where, you know, he says hello, and he says, I didn't have a problem with the zombies, and the player then can decide to accept or deny the quest. When they accept the quest, um, the, the kill listener is created with the arguments that tell it that the player is killing an entity that's a zombie so it's killing the player is killing zombies and it needs to count to five zombies and then run this task script um a little quick note even though it zaps to the second step before it makes the listener the order doesn't matter because um, it completes the entire block of code before it actually goes to the second step um, but some people get worried by that kind of stuff and just for chronological order we'll switch around creates the listener and then it zaps at the end of the process either way will work 
but uh, just for fluid sake, we'll do it that way. Um, then with it on step two, and it's currently listening for the player to kill the zombies, um, when the player comes back, it just reminds him to hurry up, the cows are dying. And then as the player goes out and kills zombies, once it hits five zombies, it runs this little block of code. And the important part of that is that it zaps to the third step. In the third step, you're essentially giving the player their reward. So, in this case, we gave money and a sword. And then we zap to step four, so that they can't just keep clicking and getting a reward over and over again. Um, the important thing to know about this last zap is if you want the quest to be repeatable, you can just zap back to step one, and it repeats the process. Um, so, you can keep that in mind. In this case, it's just a one-time deal. Um, and at some point, I'll make a video on how you can actually reset these scripts, sorry, reset the steps on a time basis. So, you know, if you want scripts or quests to reset every day, you can go through and set the step every day um, at a certain time. Well, that'll be another video. Um, and I think that should give you a basic idea of how to make a kill, kill quest. Um, I feel like there was one more point I wanted to make, but I can't think of it. Uh, you guys should be all set. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, and while I still have time and focus, I'm going to make another video about how to make the task script a little more user-friendly. Oh, that's the point I wanted to make. Currently, the user doesn't get any feedback while he's killing zombies. He'll only be told he's killed the five zombies after he's killed all five of them. It doesn't say, you know, you've killed one of five, you've killed two of five. So the next video, I'll complicate it a little bit more and show you how to count as the player kills them. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm going to link this script in the description. Hopefully it works. I haven't actually checked it. And um, along with all the other relevant information, you can always come over here to the Denison Dev IRC I've shown you before and talk to all these people and use the convenient bot that McMonkey's made and, you know, all that fun stuff. Uh, thanks again, guys.